Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today we are going to be playing some off-road outlaws. Now, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know right at the beginning of the video that the developers of the game um, actually hooked me up with a bunch of in-game currency and stuff like that so I could show you guys a bunch of the features of the game and without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get straight into it. I have not played this game at all yet so this is my very first impression of what uh, of what this game feels like, plays like and, and to see if I like it. So, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a, our, ourselves a truck first. Now, as far as what truck we're going to get, I'm not totally sure yet. I want to get something that's like... I want to get something that looks good and also will work really well off-road. I'm tempted to get the Dodge, but I'm not totally sure. The JK looks good, but there's so many options that I'm not totally sure quite what I want. I think I'm going to... You know what? I know this is slightly different for me, but like than than normal. But I kind of want to run with this new Chevy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and run with it and see what it's like, and then from there, from there, I want to go ahead and customize it a little bit because I'm I have not touched the customization at all either. So let's see body. Um, let's see body. Fed, well, okay, front bumper, and then ooh, okay, bunch of different options for. Okay, so you can actually remove it completely if you want. I'm going to go with a sort of a pre-runner style bumper, like a pre-runner style bumper that will allow for a really big tire. So that's what we're going to go ahead and run with. Fenders now, we can do, oh, we can do little flares, we can do big flares, we can do huge flares, or we can do kind of cut out fenders, or these massive over fenders that I don't know, like... Seeing those makes me wonder how big of a freaking tire we can fit under this truck. Like, who the who the heck is gonna like be able to fit a tire that big? But I'm I don't know. I, I guess we'll find out. Uh, let's see. Rear bumper. A few different options. Nothing too crazy, really. I think I think I'm gonna go ahead and run that because it's kind of basic, but it, it it works. We can run, dude. Cage. Okay, so you can run a full exo cage if you want. You can run, oh, you can run like a covering on the bed too, but you can also run a roof rack. You can run like, I'm not exactly sure what that would be called other than just like a roll bar with a few different other pieces thrown in, but let's see. I think for my general purposes with this truck, I think I want to just run the roll bar in the back and then from there, oh, running boards. So like side steps and rock sliders and stuff like that. Um, those will work for me. Oh, roof lights. Here's where it gets interesting. So, you can do spotlight setups, you can do light bar setups, you can do a police light bar if you really want. Um, I think I'm going to run a light bar setup because it's kind of simple and clean. You can snorkel th these trucks if you want. Um, I am probably going to do the high snorkel because I'm not sure what kind of terrain we're going to be dealing with. But you can also run a spare wheel kind of wherever you want. I'm going to run it on the back just in case. Um, Horn will, will mess with that later. Windshield protection, if you're going to be going through some insanely tough terrain you can run those if you want let's see front lights so wait so that's the only option so i guess that's what we're running winch now the the winch i mean i guess we're gonna go ahead and put it on the truck because i would rather have it than not have it in like you know a bad situation but you can put your jack up on the roof you can put it kind of i guess where well that seems to be the only mounting point that it, that's allowing us to do but at the same time i mean I just now figured out that you can kind of spin around the truck however you feel like, so I, I I think I need to get a little bit more accustomed to this customization tool before I actually start to uh, before I actually start to make some really really cool builds. But ooh, protection plates. What are these? Oh, I see. Okay, I don't know if I want those on this truck. Exhaust pipe. Where where would that particular? Oh God. Um. So we can do stacks that come out from underneath the truck. Or we can do, where is, well, oh, oh, God, okay, a hood stack, two hood stacks, a stack in the bed, where's, okay, so the owned one, all right, so, stacks coming out the sides, single hood stack, I mean, this isn't really a diesel, so I don't want to run a hood stack, I don't want to run a stack in the bed either, because I feel like it's not, it doesn't really work for a truck that isn't a diesel, so, front, okay, so now we're back to the beginning. So hopefully, let's go ahead and apply mods, and now the truck is good, well, sort of good to go. 
what do we what can we do with the kind of wheel and tire there we go wheel and tire setup that's what i want to that's what i want to mess with so let's see front wheel size so that's about as far as they okay so that's the size of the wheel itself let's put it just a little bit past the middle wheel radius how's it oh okay or well wheels radius i guess so that's the actual size of the wheels tires themselves and wheel width so we're pretty much going to go as wide and as big as we can let's see wheel size we're going to leave it alone in the back like size wise but radius we're going to bump it up and width we're going to bump it up so that should work as far as this like as far as our setup goes that should work i just need to figure out how we actually kind of space these out from the truck a little bit so let's go ahead and buy that setup oh i see i see so the more you upgrade it the more you can actually like the more you can use so let's see what we can do in terms of oh, okay that's so independent suspension solid axle pro trophy type solid axle type let's do the solid axle pro and see how that does in comparison to the standard one. Let's go to the back now. Solid Axle Pro, let's get that installed. And I'm not totally sure currently how we're gonna, like I said, we, get, we gotta get more, hmm, oh, axle width, there we go. Axle width, we'll go ahead and get just a little bit more. So you can technically go as wide as you want, but I kinda wanna see how that actually works after we uh after we get you know some more some more range in the truck and actually look around it to see so i think we were about there so now i'm going to look around the truck and that actually looks quite a bit better i wanted to get a little bit of offset out of it but i think that now that we've got a little bit of offset out of the truck i think we can go ahead and start doing a little bit more with it so let's go back to wheels and tires stage one stage two stage three and then now that we're at stage three, we can do, let's see, we're going to make the tires themselves just a little bit beefier, just to kind of accommodate the fact that we've gone crazy with our axles. Let's see, stage two, stage three, wheel radius in the rear, bump it up a little bit, just make sure that it's pretty much level, and that should, uh, that should work. I really like the size that this truck came out to be. I think that's about where I want it to sit. It's about what I was imagining for this truck. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Wheels and tires. Tune. Now the tune itself, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of stuff you can do in here that I am not sure how it actually all uh, works. But, oh, I see. So you can actually bump the, the amount of suspension. Oh, God, you can actually slam the crap out of these if you really wanted to, which I am not going to do. I'm actually going to bump the travel up a good bit. God, you could spend a ton of time just in this customization tool. Let's see. Tra no, not stiffness. Travel. Now bump the suspension travel about three quarters of the way up. And then stiffness. We'll bump that down just a little bit if I can actually get it to sit right and then go back to the front and bump the stiffness down a little bit because I want some compliance in the suspension and then brake type. I, I we're, We'll mess with that later. There's so much stuff in your shock size. How does that actually work? Like, can you literally just, holy crap, you can actually just literally completely resize your shocks if that's what you want to do. Um, let's see, shock size, and then shocks themselves, how do we actually make that change, like, how do we actually make, make a change in shocks using a slider, that's really weird, but it actually won't slide, so I'm not sure, I'm not sure how it plans on working if it won't slide, but um, we're, we're going to go ahead and gloss over the Oh, rear steering. Let's not mess with rear steering right now. That's a little bit, I think, on another level. So let's go to the test area. So this is almost like, I guess, I guess almost like a suspension dyno area. One, two, three. Okay, so let's go one and then start and see what happens. So... Truck is just kind of rolling along right now. I don't know if it'll... Oh, okay. 
so you can see how it's going to react before you take it out. That's really, really, really cool. Really cool. So you can see what your tuning and adjustments actually do to the truck itself. That is insane. That is absolutely insane, and I am I am totally in support of that. Let's turn the speed up a little bit. Well, that turned it up a lot. Dude, so you can really, like, you can totally see how it will do in, like, in terms of going over terrain. And that actually looks like it's responding really well. So let's do, uh, let's do environment type number two. And, oh, so that's, like, trophy truck style jumps and stuff like that. Let's turn the speed up, and it'll probably turn into, uh, it'll probably turn into jumps. Well, actually, the truck is doing an amazing job of absorbing the bumps, so... I have no objection to taking this thing out and actually, like, kind of experiencing how it works off-road, because this thing looks like it's going to be awesome. Let's turn the speed back down. We'll go to number three now and see how number three is. Number three is, like, a bunch of steps up and down, and I think that number one is probably the most, is probably going to be the most applicable, applicable to all the different terrain types, but let's turn the speed way up on the on number one and see how that actually reacts. Which this truck is going to be amazing off-road because look how well it's soaking up these bumps. Dude, that's insane. Okay, let's stop the test. And now we're going to go ahead and take this thing out in the dirt and see what happens. Because my god. I mean, look at it. It, it, it. There's no way this thing couldn't be fun. So single player and let's see. Let's get all the rest of these unlocked. So we've got Woodlands, Desert, Rock Park, and Stunt Park. Let's go straight to Woodlands and see what Woodlands is like. And then once we actually drive around on Woodlands for a little while, then we can start to explore. Whoa! Okay, that is really, really, really loud. Or at least it was really, really loud for me. I don't know if it was really loud for you guys, but it was quite loud for me. So... Oh god, alright, alright, alright. This is different. So we're just in rear-wheel drive right now. Let's, so wait, rear diff lock, front wheel drive, all with it. You can actually switch it between front wheel drive and rear wheel drive and all wheel drive, which is kind of strange. Front and rear diff lock, now enabled? Easy. Well, actually no, apparently not easy. Apparently not easy at all. Let's do, wait, what was that other mode? Oh, center diff too, that's crazy. All right, let's go back to rear-wheel drive with the rear diff locked and see how that does kind of driving around the map itself. Dude, this is properly fun. I really like the way the handling responds. I really like the way the truck responds. A little bit of a jump, nice. And I'm sure that there's a bunch of different activities we can do out here, but I want to, whoa, okay. I want to go ahead and actually like explore what the like what the game feels like and what the trucks can do before I start to experiment with like events and stuff and plus plus roaming around I feel like is is going to be just as fun because there's so many things you know so many things to play with so many things to climb on uh oh a little bit of yeah that that this thing's not going to go much farther without let's do everything locked everything locked well now it's just moving out like it's 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 rolling now no big deal at all. I wonder if it can actually climb that edge in, let's do low range. Oh my god, okay. That's nuts. So let's do all wheel drive and no diff locks now and just kind of go ahead and head for, head for some other terrain and see what this truck can do. Climb the hill, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Not bad. This thing is so much fun, and I can't wait to try out all the other vehicles, like the quads, and, you know, the quads, and the rock crawlers, and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be so much fun. But I think this truck was an amazing... Whoa! Well, well we're, we're all right, I guess. But this truck was an amazing way to start off, I think. And I think we're going to have an absolute blast uh, with what's to come for this game. So... I, dude, I'm actually really, really pumped for what we can do, what we, what we're gonna be able to do here. It actually takes these trails really, really well, despite what you might think for not having the diff locked, or diffs, I should say. Now, how big is this map? I'm really curious. Is it, let's see, where are we? This map is big. 
This map is big. Okay, this is a lot. This map's a lot bigger than I thought it would be, actually. Properly huge. So let's go ahead and set off. Now we also have, we have a kind of a repair icon. We also have a temperature icon. So, or at least, you know, like uh, readouts for our dash. And what I'm curious about is how that actually, how that actually works, like especially the mechanic of overheating. I, mean, I really am curious as to how you would be able to overheat in this game. But let's lock everything, go to straight to low range, and I also love that it'll show you, like, your actual angle in the center of the dash. I think that's quite cool. Oh, I see. So the longer you spend at high RPMs, you can actually overheat the rig. Okay. That, you know what? That makes sense. So you can't just, like, sit on the rev limiter constantly and think that you're going to be fine. You know what I mean? Let's go back to low range. Oh, I climbed it instantly in low range. Inst like, instantaneously in low range. So let's, oh god, slow down, slow down, slow down. Let's see, oh, free camera. First person view. What else do we have? Follow camera. And then, okay, that's flip the camera. So free camera, you can pretty much just go wherever you want. But my god, that truck is a beast. It's an absolute monster of a thing. Okay, can we look around in first person? No, we cannot, but that's okay. I wouldn't freak out if, like, if that was, you know, if that was a thing, if they were, like, if, if I w I'm not going to freak out over not being able to look around in first-person view. Like, I don't think it's all that important of a thing for a game like this. Let's go to low gear. Dude, this thing doesn't even need to have the diffs locked to get up somebody. Uh-oh. That's the, that's the edge of the map. We found the edge of the map pretty damn easily. Let's follow through with a little bit more of the exploration on this map and see what we can find. Now, the woods isn't actually all that dense. I was kind of wondering if it, how, how dense the woods was going to be. Put it back in high because we need a little bit more speed. Come on! Oh, yes. Oh, God. We're doing like 60. Oh, ow. That was, that was not supposed to happen. Actually, legitimately, it, it was not supposed to happen at all. Oh, please. Please, jump the creek. Oh, we were almost able to jump the creek. All right, let's put it in low range, lock everything down, and full power. Come on. Easy. 100%, like so easy. Go back to high, just leave it in four-wheel drive. Pretty much it seems like this truck has been able to take on almost everything we've thrown at it when you consider, like, just leaving it in four-wheel drive and sometimes going to low range and occasionally occasionally I'll, I'll lock everything down but it doesn't seem like it needs it most of the time i mean it seems like with this suspension and tire setup it just freaking goes man oh god all right uh start trail record 18 seconds oh god okay so tiny and let's go come on we're gonna need low range and locks That's the rev limiter. We're just sitting on the rev limiter. Um, we're gonna have to figure out a way to not do that because this is gonna end, that's gonna end badly if we keep doing that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. I love how the truck actually gets mud on it, by the way. Like that is such a that is such a good feature because not a lot of like not a lot of games will actually like get the truck all you know, all mud splattered and everything like that. Like, especially because of the fact that it's a mobile game. Like, I'm, I'm quite impressed for it being a mobile game. Is that the end up there? Yeah, it's gotta be. Oh, and no winching allowed. Great. Great. All right. Uh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be iffy. But we're gonna go for it anyway. Go, 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 go. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. We got it. I mean, we didn't really get that much, but we still got it. We have a lot, a lot, a lot to learn when it comes to this game, but I hope you all did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you all thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you all next time. Talk to you guys later, and make sure you come back tomorrow for more.